ladies and gentlemen, this is breaking news. Daniel Penny has been indicted by a grand jury in New York City. Daniel Penny indicted by grand jury in chokehold death of Jordan Neely on New York City subway attorneys say. So this just came out um, like 58 minutes ago. Daniel Penny, the Marine veteran who has been charged with the killing of 30 year old Jordan Neely with a chokehold on a New York City subway car on May 1st was indicted by a grand jury on Wednesday. The attorney for Neely's family told CBS New York, Penny's attorney said in a statement that they will aggressively defend him when the case goes to trial. A law enforcement source also confirmed Penny's indictment to CBS News. Penny, 24, was originally charged with second degree manslaughter in May and released on bail. Penny maintains that Neely was behaving erratically on a train and threatening to kill fellow passengers when he moved to subdue him, according to video statements released by his attorneys. After the indictment, Penny was initially questioned by police and released without any charges. And yes, and a lot of people were upset about that. A statement released last month by Penny's attorney said Neely had a documented history of violent and erratic, and erratic behavior, the apparent result of ongoing and untreated mental illness. It also said Penny never intended to harm Mr. Neely and could not have foreseen his untimely death. In clips of a video interview released by his attorney on Sunday, Penny described what he said led up to the chokehold, including alleged threats from Neely. The three main threats that he repeated over and over was, I'm going to kill you. I'm prepared to go to jail for life and I'm willing to die. I was scared for myself, but I looked around, I saw women and children. He was yelling in their faces, saying these threats. This is what Penny said. You know, he reminds me, what, what was that dude in the Ahmaud Arbery case? Travis, he reminds me of him. You know, like they try to inflate what really happened on the train. And, you know, if you remember, Travis McMichael tried to make Ahmaud Aubrey sound crazy. You know, they always try to do that with us because they think it's believable. It's only believable to people that look like Daniel Penny. So anyway, let's go on. <clears throat> Neely, who performed as a Michael Jackson impersonator, was homeless and family members said that he had struggled with mental health after losing his mother as a teen and his mother was murdered. At his funeral service on May 19th, Reverend Al Sharpton said Jordan was screaming for help. We, cr uh, we keep criminalizing people with mental illness. No, they do that in this country because deep down inside, they don't care about, they'll see the only time mental illness becomes convenient is when them folks commit a crime. Then they try to shield themselves up with mental illness. But Jordan Neely had a recorded history of mental illness. He had real mental illness, not the fake stuff because you're in trouble with the law. He had the real thing. So, and America does badly with mental illness because it, they don't care about black men, women, and children with mental illness. To them, you are a threat. That's why so many end up getting killed. Daniel Penny's indictment is the right result for the wrong he committed, Neely's family said in a statement Wednesday. The grand jury's decision tells our city and our nation that no one is above the law, no matter how much money they raise. They're talking about the fundraiser. No matter what affiliations they claim, 
and no matter what distorted stories they tell in interviews. I guess they're paying attention to those interviews because I really think he's inflating everything. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office declined to comment on the indictment when asked by CBS News. So y'all, this just came out. And personally, this is another one that I feel is not given the appropriate charge, a second degree manslaughter. No, no, it, that was a straight up murder for real. And we'll see when his trial comes up in New York. I mean, it would have to be in New York City because that's where the murder happened on a subway. So, you know, yeah, I saw that interview. Actually, that interview is not new. I reported on that interview back in May. And when I saw it, it was the same video, you know, um, there may have been some different things that the attorneys divulged, you know, as far as footage, but that interview was done over a month ago. And I did see it and I did a video on it. And, you know, he wasn't convincing to me, but I'm sure he was convincing to other people. You know, it, it's the same thing every single time, you know, and this never changes. It just seems like it's becoming more step, uh, stepped up in these last days, you know, they're stepping everything up and this is just ridiculous. So he was indicted. We'll see what happens from this point on, you know, as far as the court, is concerned, you know, they're going to have to give a date sooner or later, but I would imagine that might be further along in the year before they give uh, a date on when Daniel Penny will have to go on trial in New York City. So it's like everywhere. They said the city is divided on this. Some people are with uh, Jordan Neely, the victim. And some people are siding with Daniel Penny because they're buying all this hero stuff from him. That man ain't no hero. Okay. A lot of y'all do that. You always try to act like when these incidents go down, you are the hero in the whole thing. And I have yet to see it. I have yet to see these big heroes. I'm still looking for them. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.